Hey guys, it's Vishali. Look who is back at Cobham. Um, it's been a long time since I posted a vlog. I know that it's been about a month. Um, it was something that was highlighted to me by my good friend Armin, who, uh, who actually sent me a, a screen grab of my last video and he highlighted that the date was then it was three weeks ago and yeah he basically put me to shame um because it has been a while um but look i have been really really busy and that's why i haven't posted uh, as much as i would have liked to oh, look there's lee from chelsea tv um and um yeah so basically why haven't i posted well sorry about that um i have been traveling so much uh, for work in the last couple of weeks i was in paris for the PSG Manchester United game which was amazing I had my birthday I was away in Rome um, on holiday so it's been a lovely couple of weeks but um, it's good to be back and doing sort of Premier League and of course it is now the business end of the season to see you know um, who will finish in top four who will win the Premier League title it's hotting up and um, now look I went to Maritza Sari's press conference today and the talk it was all dominated by Callum Hudson Odoi. Um, I mean, rightly so in a lot of ways. I mean, the whole press conference started off on, a, you know, on a negative in a lot of ways. The subject uh, is a negative um, because, of course, um, for both club and country, Callum Hudson Odoi has been on the receiving end of alleged racial abuse. Um, it happened uh, towards the end uh, of uh, Chelsea's win of a Dynamo Kiev. UEFA are investigating that incident. And of course, in the 5-1 uh, win away to Montenegro with England, um, Hudson Odoi was one of several England players who were targeted um, by, well, racist chants. It was, it was clear to hear um, to everyone, really. Um, so Willian just uh, just drove in uh, to uh, Chelsea training. The guys are training today. Um, so, Sari was asked about whether or not he would be speaking to Hudson Odoi personally um, and he said he's not going to be speaking to him personally which I thought was a little bit strange I mean I think well he, he praised Hudson Odoi I think that's fair to say he praised him for saying he's very very strong as a, a character wise mentality wise but I did think it was a bit strange because I think regardless of if you're strong I think it's quite nice just as a person to person um, sort of in, in that kind of manner just to have a chat with someone who is still just 18 um, but he's right Callum Hudson Odoi has shown remarkable um, mentality hasn't he this season to not only you know play more and more at Chelsea but also get his first cap and first start uh, for England now the rest of the talk was very much positive it was a lot about why Hudson Odoi hasn't been playing so much for for Chelsea and why he uh, should be starting in the Premier League um, sorry thinks that Hudson Odoi is so good that he will play 30 to 35 matches or start them next season and he will end up sort of starting 70 to 75 percent of matches uh, for Chelsea but the whole question is whether or not Hudson Doyle will be at Chelsea past the summer but Sari does think that he will so we'll have to see whether or not uh, Hudson Doyle is asked there I think if he leaves it will be a massive shame for a player who He's a future for Chelsea. Um, he's going to be one of the best players um, in Europe and in the world. So, yeah, let's see what happens with that. Um, the other sort of talking point was, well, it was a very short talking point, but it was talking about Eden Hazard. Um, you know, there's a lot of talk about whether or not he will be going to Real Madrid this summer to join uh, his idol, Zinedine Zidane. Um, but uh, Sari is quite confident that the thing, the whole thing will be resolved pretty soon. But he did say that Hazard needs to focus on sort of the last couple of months. Uh, with Chelsea. Um, it is great being back at Cobham and reporting. I'm not going to be at Chelsea's game against Cardiff at the weekend. I'm going to be at Fulham versus Manchester City. So I'll be posting a vlog on Saturday. But I hope you guys have enjoyed my uh, first vlog back in a while. And don't forget to hit subscribe.